Hey everybody, it's Pastor Stephen. Hey, it's Ashley. Hey, and welcome to our Monday Bible reading and confirmation prayer. So it's good to be together with everybody in this uh, last week of the semester. Hooray, good job everybody for getting to this point. Yay! Um, and even in the last week of the semester, it is still a really good time to read scripture and to pray. So Ashley, what have you been reading in scripture and what word do you have for us today? So I actually just finished the book of Acts today. Like we were reading Acts and then jumped to um, another book and then came back. But I was really kind of struck by all of the things that Paul experienced like in his ministry. There was a lot, right? There was He was in prison a lot. I didn't actually count the number of times, but a lot. And then what really struck me today was that at one point he was in prison for two straight years, like, and there was many changes in government and the, and the people that he went to see and eventually he got shipped to Rome at some point. And it really kind of made me think because, you know, like I, I've known the tragedies that he went through, like in the hardships. But then I thought about like, not only did he have all these hardships, but like they lasted a long time. And I kind of like one or the other sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, okay, if I know that it's going to be a long time, that's fine. Or if I know that a lot's going to happen, but it's over with quickly, great. But I don't know that I'm so good at not knowing an ending or having a lot of things happen in them being a lengthy time. Such as 2020, though, like we don't know. And I think about the faith that that must have taken for Paul in order to, to remember those things. Because like he was in prison. So there is no, you know, church he could go to there. You know, his friends did have to bring him stuff the way the prison system worked back then. Your friends were responsible for feeding you. But, you know, like, I'm sure that wasn't the same and that wasn't a whole lot of time he got. So that was really kind of that thing, the thing that kind of struck me is remembering his faithfulness, even when the hardships lasted a long time and when he didn't know when they were going to end or what the response was going to be, he was still faithful in sharing God's word. And, you know, I don't know that I would have been, there was at one point someone who kept trying to get him to be bri like to bribe himself out of prison. So he kept going to visit Paul and Paul just kept telling him about Jesus. And the guy's like, maybe the, like, he'll get the hint. And Paul's like, no, you know, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's a funny story. Yeah. The ruler's like, you know, I, I could set him free, but I'll just kind of show up and say, Hey, you want to bribe me? And I'll, <laughs> uh, I'll let you out. No problem. And Paul's like, now, let me tell you about Jesus, who's risen from the dead and who loves you with an everlasting love. And he's like, dude, you're supposed to give me money, not Jesus. Um, but, but I do, but yeah, that's a, that's a great example that you've, you drew out about Paul of just his ongoing faithfulness in the midst of, you know, who knows when this is going to end. Um, and that, that, that really connects with my life of, you know, I, I know when the semester of school is going to end, it's going to end, you know, on Friday. Um, you know, be that good or ill uh, for my grades, but, but who knows, but COVID, I, you know, th there's a vaccine coming out or the starting to, uh, people are starting to get the vaccine, but you know, that, I, I don't know that how means. long it's going to take for me to get it. Yeah. Or you, or the other people in my family or the church or the rest of the country or the world. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's kind of a, a curiousness of, okay, well, I don't know when that's going to be, but I think the, the uh, example of Paul is you keep being faithful and you keep being faithful and you keep being faithful. Um, yeah. And that's, and I think that's what we try to do. And I, th I see you doing that, um, you know, in the midst of who knows when COVID is going to be done. Well, you keep reading your Bible, you keep coming to worship, you keep, you keep praying and that's, you keep investing in your students. I think those are ways you keep being faithful over and over and over again. Um, and I think our teenagers do, can do the same thing. Yeah. Day by day, you don't necessarily have all the answers, but what's the next choice that you're going to make? And that makes it so much easier when, you know, when you're not trying to plan everything out. And that's one of the blessings that I'm going to take out of 2020, I think, is that I don't know what's going to happen. And I don't necessarily need to know what's going to happen. How can I spend today and love God and love my neighbor, which is where it all ends up. But if I can just focus on those things each day, I can keep going. And if I mess up, tomorrow's a new day. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That's, that's another place of God's grace. Indeed. Ashley, well, thanks for that great, uh, great word from the Bible from, uh, from Paul's life and in, in the book of Acts. Um, that's a great book in the Bible. Um, 
love it. Thank you for sharing what you're what you're reading there. Now, another book that we've been looking at is we did this in uh, uh, Sunday with our um, youth group, uh, youth Sunday school. Our new hymnal supplement, "All Creation Sings," hooray! And Ashley was one of our presenters. Um, well, our presenter in person. Um, and we were talking about some of the different hymns in the new hymnal. Yay for new songs, hooray, it's so much fun. Um, but we were talking about using the songs as prayers. And so we're going to, for our prayer today, I'm gonna to read uh, one of the verses from one of our new hymns. Uh, it's the hymn, Now the Heavens Start to Whisper. Um, this is an Advent hymn. And I'll read that first, uh, first verse and then um, use that as a basis for our prayer today. So let us pray. Now the heavens start to whisper as the veil is growing thin. Earth from slumber wakes to listen to the stirring faint within. Seed of promise deeply planted, child to spring from Jesse's stem. Like the soil beneath the frost line, hearts grow soft to welcome him. And holy God, we give you thanks for this Advent, and we pray that our hearts grow soft to welcome Jesus. To welcome Jesus, that child that is springing from Jesse's stem. Uh, we pray that our hearts would be soft to welcome Jesus uh, through the scriptures and through the uh, gift of Holy Communion and through the gift of prayer and of community wherever we can find it in, in him. We pray that our hearts would grow soft when, um, when the semester is coming to an end. We pray that our hearts would be soft um, and ready for Christ this Advent, um, but also as we continue to uh, wait and wonder about how long COVID will go on and when the vaccine will come for us and when things will get to a um, some different sense of normal. Uh, we pray, O oh God, that our hearts would be soft to welcome Christ in all those times and places and in all these people, but most of all in your gifts. We thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit that sustains us uh, for our waiting and for our watching. And we pray that you would help us to continue to be faithful, faithful like Paul uh, in the midst of all things. We pray for your help at the end of this semester in our studying and in the tests we turn in and the parties we have. Um, we pray that you help us to be faithful um, in the midst of waiting for COVID and for vaccines and um, for all of that. We pray that you help us to be faithful in our tiredness. Uh, we pray that you help us to be faithful with our families. Uh, but most of all, and in all things, we thank you for Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Well, guys, uh, so that's from our new hymnal, All Creation Sings. There's lots of really good stuff in there. We're going to talk about this some more this uh, coming Sunday. Um, and if you show up for Sunday school, you get a hymnal. Yay! What a great promo, right? Um, anyway, love to see you there and hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for, uh, for tuning in. See you guys. Bye. <laughs>